you might have realized that if you go into GIMP and scroll through the fonts list, there's a bunch of random fonts that you don't really care about, all in the way of your beautiful fonts that you have installed yourself. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in GIMP once again. Taking a look at how to organize your fonts a little bit because this is like a super big deal when you're, especially when you're doing a lot of uh, graphic arts like I do, and you need fonts all the time. Look at all these fonts over here. The bar's barely even scrolling, yet I'm scrolling past a billion fonts, and they're just, you don't need them. They're fonts that the system uses, and you cannot really get rid of them. And even if you could, which you can, but it's very dangerous, you shouldn't do that because your system's using them. So, we can organize them pretty easily, actually, by going ahead, and if you don't have it open already, this big font tab, if you don't have it open already, uh, you can go over, go over to your fonts, and then this little, hit this little button down here, uh, and this will open up that same thing I just had open. Now, yours won't look like this. It should look something uh, like this. So now you can see, uh, we have all the fonts that we had over there, over to the uh, to the left, over here on the right hand side now, which is super cool, right? So, uh, what we have is all the billions of fonts. Now, uh, if you know the names of the fonts you want to add, you can just either one, you can take the time and scroll through here and get all the ones that you want, or uh, you can just, you know, look at the fonts that you downloaded or whatever. Or, like I said, the best way to do this, especially if you don't keep them in a separate folder, because I keep them in a separate folder so I can use them for Blender as well. Um, so that's that's always a good idea to do. When you install a font, just take the TTF or the OTF or whatever it is and put it in a different folder. Uh, usually I put it in my downloads folder and then make a folder called fonts, uh, and then I, I just do it that way. So, um, yeah, it's much easier to find um, later on if you need them again. So, uh, this font right here, I, I do want to add this to some kind of group and organize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and if I didn't already have one, let me make a new one. I'm going to call this one. Uh, oops, I'm going to call this one text. And I'm going to hit enter on that. So now you see up here, I've typed text and hit enter. Now it's, it's put a comma underneath that. And what this has done is now it's made a group called text. And what we can do with that really quickly is if I go back to those fonts, we can add them to the text group. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we're back in the main folder here, and I can go ahead and uh, select a font that I want to add, and I can actually hold down uh, Shift and add multiple different ones. So we can just hold down Shift. I don't recommend scrolling all the way down and holding Shift and doing them all at the same time, because if you accidentally misclick or unhold Shift for a small amount of time and click one, then you're going to be losing all of your work. So I recommend just doing a few at a time, maybe just even one, and then we'll go down here to the bottom, not the top. The top is where you when you create the actual group. The bottom is where you add them. So I'm going to go ahead and type in. Uh, uh, the word text here and hit enter now you can see this added a comma right afterwards and if we go and we hit this drop down box and go to text because the the one that i had by default was fonts that's the one i created beforehand uh if you go to text you can see that all the fonts we just added are right here which is way easier than than having to go all the way to the other place and scrolling through all of this nonsense over here right so now you have a very, very easy way of collecting all of the fonts that you want. And we can do this as many times as you want to, too, which is great. Um, so we can go back to the, the default category and add more. And, you know, we can even get rid of some. I'll show you how to do that in a second here. So let's go ahead and go back to that def default group again. All right, so we're back. We're here at the uh, main font place again, once again. So now if we go and scroll back to the fonts that we added, which were these four right here, um, you can see down at the bottom, when I click them, they have the word text, which is the group they belong to. So if I click this one, then there's no tag here, which is which means it's not belonging to any group. So if you want to get rid of it from a specific group, we'll go ahead and select uh, this font in, in italics. So we'll go ahead and get that one, and we'll just delete that. At enter and now you can see if we go back to the text area here then that one is now missing which is nice so that's what we want to do here so let me go back to that group once again the weight in between changing between the group and the uh, the all of the fonts here is insane because there's so many fonts but other than that aside from that uh, what, we're, what we have now is we have the ability to add any font take away any font I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this entire text uh, group that I created because I already have a group so the way to get rid of an entire group uh, up here at the top, you see, is just delete the tag from every one of the fonts that you put a tag on, and then you only have the one uh, group because text not here anymore. All right, so now uh, I want to add all of these uh, fonts to my fonts group. So I'll just go ahead and I can just go through and add any font that I want to this group here. So we can just type in fonts for all of these here. And then we can scroll down, look for some more. And now you have a super easy way to collect all your fonts in the same place. Go ahead and type in fonts. 
and then here as well and all of these will appear and I already have that one uh, all of these will appear in the same place for easy access so you don't have to scroll through all of this stuff now like I said the best way to do this is to scroll through this you know <laughs> one more time just for the last time and then grab all the ones that you want and then you have them in the group for later on um, but yeah so that's all I'm gonna do for now because that's gonna take too many we get destiny um, and maybe we'll get educated deers too um, and then after that we'll go ahead so now we can just drop down box you can have as many as you want and then we just go to fonts and now you can see when I go to fonts we have all of the ones I just added here which are super nice super great there's destiny light educated deers sweet all of these fonts here which I have a billion more I just need to go through and do them all um, but yeah so I'm like a I'm like a font guy I got a lot of fonts I love fonts so we'll go ahead and just um, we'll end it there there you go hope you enjoyed it now like I said you could just go ahead and just draw open this box here type in fonts and then just scale it on up and then you can just easily change the fonts from here, which is super nice and easy. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial. Hope you learned something new. I really do appreciate all the support on the videos you've been giving you guys have been giving me lately. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.